This is how you make the best caramel pretzel bark good for any time of the year. We're gonna start off with one whole stick of butter, guys, okay? So get your entire stick. As you can see, I have a little bit in there, but we're gonna need more. So get your whole stick, toss it right in there, okay? So we're making the caramel for our bark. Now we're gonna grab our light brown sugar, and we are going to need one whole cup of our light brown sugar, okay guys? So get your measuring cup or whatever you need, and we're gonna go ahead and measure it out. We have half of a cup, and we're gonna need one more full half of a cup, right? There we go, perfect. Perfect. So we're gonna go ahead and mix this around just like this until it's all nice and boiling, okay? So go ahead and mix it all around. We wanna see it all boiling. And that's when you know it's nice and ready to go. So as you can see, it's starting to boil, but we need it all boiling. We need it all melted. Okay guys, this looks so perfect. It's nice and boiling and it's the perfect caramel color. So this caramel is ready to go. So we're gonna put our spatula down. We're gonna go ahead, take this right off the heat. We're gonna move this back and we're gonna go ahead and get our pretzels right here nice and ready. Now, we're gonna go ahead and pour this right in. Perfect, nice and hot. So you gotta do this when it's nice and hot guys, okay? There we go, perfect. And then you'll know when enough is enough. Like right now, it looks nice and covered. So I think that's the perfect amount. Now, we're gonna toss this into our oven now for eight minutes at 325 degrees. Okay guys, this is nice and ready now. Check it out. Be careful, it is warm. So you're gonna wanna get it out and make sure it's nice and warm before you start adding all your toppings. We're gonna go ahead and we're gonna start with some mini chocolate chips, guys, okay? I love, love, love using these because they just melt and they kind of go into those little gaps and they're just so, so perfect. So go ahead, toss them in just like this, sprinkle them out so it's nice and even. Perfect. After we have those in there, I usually like to grab some semi-sweet chocolate chips. And we're gonna go ahead and add these in here as well. These ones are bigger, which I love because I love like a little bit of a contrast between the sizes and you know the textures of the toppings. I feel like it just makes this whole bark so much better. Perfect. Look at that. Fantastic. Now that we have that in there, we're gonna go ahead and grab some mini marshmallows. Now I am a huge, huge fan of these mini marshmallows. What I do is I rip them in half and then I face them face down. Okay, just like that. There we go. Now I just like to, ooh, be careful, that, that thing's hot. Be careful because, you know, this thing is warm, especially you know, the liquid inside as well as the outer edges. I mean, the whole the whole pot or baking sheet in general is just very, very warm, so be careful. There we go. Ooh. There we go, perfect. Fantastic, check this out, guys. This is looking fantastic. Oh my goodness. This all looks so darn good, guys. I'm just so excited to show you the final outcome. The final outcome is always so exciting. I mean, once it's all hardened and perfect. Now some nut topping. I always like to grab some of this. We're gonna toss it right on top, spread it out, make sure it's a nice, even amount all over. Perfect. And now we're gonna go ahead and add one of my favorite ingredients, sprinkles. Today I'm gonna do these little stars. I think that they're so, so darn cute. Oh, they're having a hard time coming out. If they ever have a hard time, you know, we can always do something else. 
we'll go ahead and do these rainbow little balls. There we go, check that out. This little rainbow color always makes it so fun and exciting. So I always, I always am happy if I'm using this one. And go ahead, just add, you know, as much as you want. I think today I'm gonna do some light sprinkles right on top, just like that. Perfect. And this looks fantastic. So now what we're gonna do, we're gonna grab our glove and we're gonna go ahead and toss this into our fridge for at least 30 minutes to get fully hard. Okay guys, this is ready to go. I've taken it right out of our fridge. And first things first, we're gonna go ahead and separate the foil from the baking sheet. So go ahead and press your foil open just like this. And it should just lift right out, perfect. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our bark right out of the foil. So if you go ahead and start folding around, it should just start coming right off. And that's exactly what you want. Okay, perfect. Oh my goodness, look at this. Ooh, if it starts to break, that is totally okay. You can still get it all out. And we're gonna go ahead and just start putting it all onto our plate, okay? So that way everyone can go ahead and grab their own pieces and go ahead and eat it, right? So I always kind of like to break it into small pieces. There's pretty much a whole pretzel per piece, which is very, very nice. And then we have these smaller pieces right over here. You wanna get all of it. So go ahead, you get these small pieces as well, and you can just put them around the edge as well, okay? Fantastic, guys. We're gonna go ahead and give this a try, okay? Here we go. First bite of the bark. Oh my gosh. Yeah. That's just so good. Really? It's like sugary, but then it melts in your mouth. And it's like the crunch of the peanuts and the chocolate. Oh, this is a Christmas holiday dream.